We need to have faith in the fire. And I heard a lot of things, and I didn't talk to nobody for almost three weeks now, and God is just confirming in the spirit what is about to happen in the land today. So I'm going to do all that I can to be obedient to the spirit of God and move out the way. And truly have God have his way. Amen. And we're going to be coming from Daniel, the third chapter. Daniel, the third chapter. Amen. When you have it. And um, as you're turning, we know that Daniel dealt prevalently in the land of Babylon. He was an exile. He was a slave, if you will. Um, many things that he was uh, dealing with was due mainly because of his stand for Christ, or his stand for God, if you will. And we know that um, things were, were happening in the land at that time. Not only were they dispersed, but there was also creeds and edicts being placed upon the land and people being forced to make a decision. And God dealt with me once again about we're going to need to have faith in the fire. And if I can begin uh, very quickly here, in verse, in, uh, verse 1 of Jan Daniel, the third chapter, it says, Nebuchadnezzar the king made an image of gold, right. whose height was three score cubits, or anywhere between 75 to 102 feet tall. Okay? The breadth, or the width of it, was six cubits, anywhere between seven and a half to 10.2 feet wide to give you an idea what this thing looked like, all right? He set it up in the plain of Dora in the province of Babylon. The reason why it was in the plain is so that all could see it for miles around. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king sent to gather together the princes and governors and captains and judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces to come to the dedication of the image which Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up, okay? Then the princes and the governors and captains and judges now, and treasurers and counselors and sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces were gathered together unto the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. And they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. He called them all together. These are all the people in authority. See, the one thing the enemy needs is agreement. The one thing the devil needs is agreement. The Bible says the strength of sin is the law. Okay, verse 4. Then a herald, or an announcer, if you please, cried aloud, To you it is commanded, O people, nations, and languages that at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, dolcoma, and all kinds of music, you fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king hath set up. This is commanded unto you. And whoso falleth not down and worship shall the same hour be cast in the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. This all came about, if I can give you some history, you know, with these first six verses, because the king didn't want to accept what God had told him through the either man of God, who was Daniel, about a dream he had concerning the future world powers at that time. Okay? When people begin to change things from the precepts of God, Amen. you and I have got to be where? Amen. Because we have to be rooted and grounded to have faith in the fire that's coming. Amen. The nations today are in tumult and chaos because they refuse to obey God's call to repentance. Amen. This is the problem with the world as a whole. From Africa to the Soviet Union to California with the fires to the mid plains with the floods to our past winter to all the tornadoes that are coming. God is speaking to us. 
I heard someone say, I believe God is speaking, but nobody is listening. In the news this past week, and once in a while I do this, I know I'm kind of going unorthodox today. Please pray for me. In this past week in the news in Kentucky, okay, at the uh, clerk's office where they issue marriage licenses, there was a woman or a group that's, that were Christian based that refused to hand out marriage licenses to same sex couples. Okay? Now I have some highlighted things here if you please bear with me. It says a Kentucky County Clerk's Office turned down a gay couple's request to get married, get a marriage license based on the clerk's deeply held Christian beliefs despite a federal judge's order to issue the licenses. The office of Rowan County Clerk Kim Davis is one of a handful across the country to cite religious beliefs in denying gay marriage licenses after the Supreme Court legalized gay marriage in June. This is only two months later. Davis was the first to be sued and her attorneys have vowed to keep fighting in case legal experts have likened to the resistance some local officials put up five decades ago when the Supreme Court legalized interracial marriage. So now they're trying to mix same-sex marriage with me marrying somebody out of my ethnic racehood. We need to have faith in the fire. Something is coming on the land. My God, help me, Lord, please. The same-sex couples responded. We're going to keep coming back, said Karen Roberts, shaking after she was denied a license to marry April Miller, her partner of 11 years. This is this past week. We're going to fight this to the very end. So now the enemy is digging in their heels. And the people of God have learned, have got to learn how to fight. All this party taking is done away with now. You need to speak on your job with attitudes, in the street with attitudes, in the church with attitudes. Because the God I serve answers by fire, and he's got an attitude. Faith in the fire. Yeah. Let me tell you something how God works. He will take some of the most gut bucket, smart mouth, hard headed people, he will turn them around, and the same smart mouth that used to cuss you out with, they will tell the devil off with. This is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Who is able to take a murderer and write half of the Bible? Faith in the fire. There are other couples who are trying to do the same thing. Now, there was a statement made about this woman. It said, Kim Davis is just an example of what's going to be happening not only to other clerks, but to other people who are going to be confronted with this issue. Saints of God, they're going to bring the law at you. We talked very plain about this for three years. And God is bringing things to culmination. See, it didn't take us by surprise, but we still need to be prepared. You need to study it on the law of the land. You need to study it on the word of God to get to a point where you can fight face to face, mouth to mouth, eye to eye. Now, 
Jesus said, in the last days, there'll be a great falling away because of offenses. That's how he said it. So it continues, this article says, some clerks and judges across the South halted issuing licenses in the days following the court's decision. Some resigned rather than acknowledge a same-sex marriage. They shut their business down. However, others relented. Under the threat of legal action and began handing them out. It's unclear exactly how many clerks nationwide are still refusing to issue licenses, but at least one other county clerk in Kentucky has pledged that he would not. So now lines are being drawn in the sand. And it all comes down to where will you stand? Where will you stand? U.S. District, District Judge Daniel L. Bunning mm -hmm. said in his ruling Wednesday mm -hmm. that Davis has likely violated the U.S. Constitution's protection against the establishment of a religion by openly adopting a policy that promotes her own religious convictions at the expenses of others. That's interesting. Lastly, Davis remains free. This is the ruling. For now, she remains free to practice her Christian beliefs. She may continue to attend church twice a week. Listen to how it's worded. See how it's worded? Participate in Bible study and minister to female inmates at the Rowan County Jail. Ha uh ha. -huh. So they're attacking her walk, her church, and her ministry. She is even free to believe, you can believe if you like, that marriage is a union between one man and one woman, as many Americans do. However, her religious convictions cannot excuse her from performing the duties that she took an oath to performing as Rowan County Clerk. Well, if that's the case, I quit. <laughs> Marry your own self. Didn't Jesus say, let the dead bury the dead? Well, then go on with your prayers, sir. If you don't need me, then go on. God is trying to tell us something. This happened this week. This week, not even two full months after the ruling, they were waiting for the rule. They were waiting. They were using money. They were manipulating, talking to people's emotions, twisting people's minds. Sons and daughters were twisting the parents. Parents were twisting the children. And now you have a five to four vote mandating that everyone in America has to accept this. Mm-hmm. All right. Verse 7. Therefore, at that time, when all the people heard the sound of the coronet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, all kinds of music, all the people, the nations and the languages yielded and fell down and worshiped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Verse 8, wherefore, at that time, certain Chaldeans came near and began to do something. They never really did like you. They really couldn't stand you. They kind of tolerated you. Yeah. But now I got the law on my side. So now I'm going to accuse the Jews and them dirty old Christians. Faith in the fire. Faith in the fire. 
This is now leaked from our Sunday school and Bible study studies to real life. Where will we stand? Joshua said, you can serve whoever you want to. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. When you anoint your house in the name of Jesus, and you pray the Holy Ghost to saturate the paint and the plaster and the nails and the wires and the plumbing, You can tell who don't belong there. Yeah. Even when they want to put the mail and they kind of run up and put it in and back off. God, Jesus. What I'm telling you is that when you pray over your stuff, the anointing will even go down to the blade of grass. Oh, Lord, Lord God. When your heart is right with God and your ways please Him, I will even make your enemies to be at peace. When we first moved in, Sister Eb, help me, we had an issue with yellow jackets. They were all in the land. I said, Lord God, you know, you can't complain. You prayed, didn't you? You asked God for the blessing, didn't you? Lord, you got to help us. Give me wisdom. And my prayer was simply, Lord, I humbly ask that you please don't allow anybody to be stung multiple times. Because if you study the yellow jacket species of wasp, they're meat eaters. Not only do they sting, but they eat your flesh. They bite into you. They are easily agitated. And they attack in swarms. And even if you're nowhere near the nest, if they get an unction to, they'll sting you. So we saw them coming in through one of the false ceilings. The two little children say, hey, we see a fly downstairs. Came down, looked at it. These were yellow jackets. These were yellow jacket queens. Multiple queens. I did my studying. One queen can produce 5,000 workers. I had to get some advice. See, when you don't know nothing, the Bible says, he who lacks wisdom, let him first ask of God who will get to all men liberally. Sought God about it. God said, get some professional help. Get some advice. Got walking in here. I went so far, I got myself a bee suit. Y'all man, y'all laugh at me if you want. You, laugh at me. you can laugh at me if you want. I went out there. I met the walking man. He looked at me, Mr. Green? I said, yeah, we ready to go. He, uh, yeah, uh, he probably thought I was crazy. But see, when you're, when you're getting prepared for war, yeah. see, when you, when, you, when you study your enemy, see, sometimes the demons come in the form of creatures. Uh-huh. Told, you know, family asking, how's everything going? Told him about this. And something my grandmother said. She says, son, I wonder is if the people left because of those bees. I said, huh. Then I said, all right, yeah, okay, you know, I hear you. Trying to get some advice. Me and the orchid man outside spraying. <laughs> Going everywhere. Right? He said, uh. Did you put any traps out? I said, yeah, I put some traps out there. I said, yeah, I got a couple of workers in them traps. He said, let me take a look. Came and took the look. He said, bro, those ain't no workers. Those are kings and queens. 
I said, what, what you talking about? What you talking There's like 30 or 40 of them. He says, yeah. These were all potential nest layers. But when you put the traps out, when you put the traps out, when you know the enemy's coming, a wise man sees evil coming and hides and hides himself. Not so much that you are afraid, but you're building up your defenses. And I thought about this. I said, Lord, well, you, know, you know, these yellow jackets, I said, Lord, I prayed again. I said, Lord, if it be your will, I ask you to take these yellow jackets and move them out. Next thing I know, talk to my wife. I said, hey, you seen a yellow jacket anywhere? No, I ain't seen one later. I ain't seen one in a while. They were coming in the living room. Coming through the, I said, huh. And then God brought me back to what he did for Israel. Sometimes when God wants you to have something, he'll either use the lions or the bees. To preserve the land until you arrive. It brought me to a whole nother level of thinking. God told me once and they told me twice. Do not doubt me. You out there with your chemicals and your bees suit, come see me. in the fire. Can you imagine the Holy Ghost will fight some bees for you? They all lying in the trap dead. <laughs> Did you know that God will speak to animals? And if God tells the animals come out of that house, this is my God. This is my house. Enough is enough. You held it for a season. Now God has given you faith in the fire. No one got stung. We were wise. Look at that thing. Took the advice from the professional. Thank you. Appreciate it. See, he kind of looked at me. He was kind of laughing at me. Cause I came out in my B suit, maybe I went over the top. Cause I'm kind of crazy like that. But he sure enough went back to his truck and got his jacket. He sure enough did. This man may be crazy, but just in case. Just in case. Minister Green talking about praying for bees, that's right. The Bible says, acknowledge God in all of your ways. He'll send the bees to hold the property for you until you come, and then he'll have them move on. Glory to God. So we see here in verse 8, I believe, wherefore they were going to accuse the Jews. Verse 9. They spake and said to King Nebuchadnezzar, O oh, king, live forever, man. You my partner, you my dog, puffing this man up. Thou, O oh, king, has made a decree. You put a law out there, didn't you? That every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, dulcimer, and all kinds of music, they're supposed to fall down now and worship the golden image, right? And whoso falleth not down and worship, that he should be cast in the midst of a burning fiery furnace. You said that, right? Did you know there are certain Jews, there's a certain person, there's a certain church, whom when thou hast set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, I don't want to call nobody out but Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, these men, O oh king, 
have not regarded you. They don't serve your gods, nor do they worship the golden image which you set up. Beware of those who lay in wait for you to wait for you to make a little misstep. I mean a misstep. They're doing it so they can pounce on you. You don't think people are looking at the church? I, I, you have one crusade. Have one revival. I dare you. I dare you broadcast it. I dare you say something. Because now I got the law. Faith in the fire. There are many who use their position. They didn't act up when you were on equal plane, but now they get a little promotion. Now their heads are all blown up. They can't fit through the door. You got to resize the door to get their ego in. Uh-huh. And, you know, they use their title to impose their will on people so they can get their way. I'm telling you. There are many, listen now, who will use their gifts against you. There's a man at Parkwell, I'm praying for him. Oh, Minister Green, I feel the anointing, feel the anointing. And I'm looking, I'm observing him. See, something was not right. And he's talking about the Holy Ghost, giving this and that, and then he slips out a few cuss words. I said, no, brother, no, 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 no. That ain't the Holy Ghost. You can't, have, you can't have clean and dirty in the same cup. I can't bless and curse out of the same mouth. Faith in the fire. See, when you speak these things, you're not going to be popular. You're not going to be likable. But I got no problem with that no more. I really don't. I don't get invited to many places. People don't like really want to see me because he always got something. Saints, people will use their spiritual gift, not just that. Remember, the gifts and callings of God are without repentance. There are people who can see things in the spirit, but they don't have the Holy Ghost. Spiritual warfare. They will use political position and family ties. Huh? Emotional manipulation for their own gain. When people do this, it's witchcraft. The nation voted in same-sex marriage because they want witchcraft. Because somebody's mama and somebody's daddy he now he wants to be a woman. Now they mad with me. At my job, they got this. I told you they had this diversity thing going on. And see, you gotta be. I gotta watch very carefully. Cause it just. Let me. Tell you, Lord help me. Just because someone looks like you and may talk like you. Don't mean they're for you. Now I'll be real ignorant. Don't be having me join no black group and then you're going to be having some potluck with the LGBT group. And now you're mad at me. What do you get mad? I dare you cross that threshold. See, I, talk, I think like that. And if I'm wrong, God deliver me. But I'm in a spiritual warfare mindset. God fight my battles and be my balance. And I have asked God, Lord, swing away and cut them down. I'm not trying to curse nobody, but I have a soul. And I can't be playing games with people. I'm not going there trying to play games with people. Why are you trying to play games with me? And now you want to use my 
Christian character against me. Well, you know you ain't supposed to be mad. You a liar. Because God told Judah, it does you well to be angry. Don't be trying to get me all hooked up and challenge me on some scripture verses. Tell me what you know first. Come on, mama, help me. We want to get an attitude. I'm here trying to spread the gospel. You getting in my face? The man told me, I'm going to move you. I said, I can't be moved. She'll tell you. I can't be moved. You know what he had the audacity to say? Oh, because you a big black man? I said, first of all, it's not by might. But yet you laid up in a sick bed and I'm well. Not because I'm any better than you, but because I'm seeking after the right spirit. You can speak illnesses off of you. It's amazing. People get in your face, have no idea, have no idea the people of God, we walk with angels. Glory to God. There are many who will come at you with the letter of the law. They'll throw some scripture at you. You know how they do it? Let me tell you how they do it. They'll memorize Jose. And then they'll say, tell me what Jose 4 5 say. You, come on, you a preacher. Come on, come on, tell me right now. Let me tell you something. This ain't no talent show, and I don't come to no one's beck and call. And I told him, tell me more what you're trying to say. Then he began to trip up, because sometimes they want to kind of get in your head and memorize a few verses, and that's all they got. They got the letter but they deny the power of the Holy Ghost. You're going to try to trip me up. Who do you think you're fooling? I'm talking about faith in the fire. See, I'm not trying to come off violent. I'm talking about confidence in the Holy Ghost. I'm a man of peace. I seek peace. If it was up to me, I wouldn't be up here. But it's not my will, but God's will must be done. You try to do something God tell you to do, see what happens. Yes. If you don't believe me, come see me at the server. I'll tell you. Right. You try to play around and not do what God told you to do. Right. You use all the, and people are good at excuses. Well, you know, Lord, I'm not, I'm not right where I need to be. Lord, you know, I'm not that quite articulate. Keep playing. Just to show you that I'm trying to be real. I share this with a few people, I believe. When I started this new job three years ago, after my previous experience, all that foolishness and drama and all them demons, I said, Lord, I'm just going to keep mind my business, come to work, and leave. I ain't going to say nothing. I ain't going to tell nobody nothing. You know, sometimes you get like that. I ain't going to speak about nothing. I ain't talking about I'm just going to keep 
Jesus in my heart and keep going. You know that don't work. But you're going to convince yourself. You're going to try to convince her and try to convince God you ain't going to say nothing. Huh. A couple months later, I'm doing my thing. All of a sudden, I hear this holler. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, you a Christian? In front of everybody. You know God will put you out. I can see God saying, you keep playing. Try it one more time. Try it one more time. I'll put you out there. Because wherever we go, we're there for a purpose. Because there's fire everywhere. There's fire everywhere. All right, verse 13. Then Nebuchadnezzar in his rage and fury commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He caused them, and they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Now, if you be ready, that at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, dulcimer, and all kinds of music, if you can do it right now, fall down and worship the image which I have made. If you do it now, we're good. He says, well, right? But if you don't worship, you shall be cast the same hour in the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. Now this is where the devil comes out real strong. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hand? He said that, right? I didn't paraphrase, right? It's written in there, right? He said it. I love this about these brothers. I love Micaiah too. He had a smart mouth. I like that. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, Oh, Nebuchadnezzar, <laughs> we ain't care. I don't care who you is to answer you in this matter. If you tell me to do my job, I'll do it. But don't be coming in my face making fun of my Savior and think, and think I ain't going to say nothing. You going to talk about Jesus in my face and act like I ain't going to say nothing? You want to bring me to HR? Let's go. We'll go together. Both you and him get delivered. Come on. I can't worship Christ, but you going to worship some sand hang on some Halloween? Dress up like ghouls and demons? Talk about trick or treat? Thinking that's funny? Drumming up people's eggnog? Come on. What kind of fool? Who do you think you're dealing with? You're dealing with God Almighty. It ain't about me. All right. He says, verse 17. If it be so, that's what they said. Our God, who we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace. And he will deliver us out of your hand, O king. Now, this is ma spiritual maturity. You ready? Ready? But if not, you see that? Be it known unto you, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. People want to put all types of threatenings in your face and see if you buck down and buckle. I dare you fire me. I dare you fire me. I dare you fire me. See, if you fire me, it's going to be well with me, but not with you. Not because I'm Dudley Green. It's because I'm seeking the Most High God. And when you're on kingdom business, you got to hear me. 
when you're on kingdom business, those who oppose the righteousness of God, God himself will deal with. This is why the parking lot of my old job got weeds growing in it now. You don't think God will do that for you? Better yet, do you believe he'll do it for you? He'll give you faith. Faith in the fire. You gonna try to make me docile. All that foolishness you put in my face. Even dealing with racism. And all that mess you're trying to put in my face. You don't come to me talking about, how come y'all people can't get past and get over it? Y'all, that's good. Y'all. I said because y'all people don't let us forget it. What? What? You got to hit back hard now. Y'all better pray for Minister Green. I try to represent, but Lord God knows there are times that I need God to fight my battles. Come with me with that foolishness. Now the next person who want to play some game, you know what they do? <laughs> the Bible tells us, choose ye this day who you will serve. Not with the mouth or with gifts or fancy accolades to be seen of men, but with the heart. With the heart man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made known unto salvation. Amen. So in verse 19, it says that Nebuchadnezzar, he was mad now. He just got told off. The form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the oven one seven times more than it was ought to be heated. People are going to be foaming at the mouth foaming in their heart because you make a stand for Christ, now they get turned over to insanity. Doing things and speaking things that are totally out of order. You want to heat this oven seven times hotter? You a madman! Huh. And he commanded. Not only that, he put the military on them. He commanded the most mighty men that were what? In his army. Brought the military brigade against me. To buy, now you're going to tie me up, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. See, as far as King Nebuchadnezzar was concerned, these three Jews should have been grateful for his hospitality. It all goes back to chapter 1. Right? And the king told Aspenaz, who was a master of the eunuchs, to bring certain of the children of Israel and of the king's seed and of the princes, children of whom there was no blemish. They were well favored. They were skillful in all wisdom and cunning and knowledge, understanding science, and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace. You've got to know how to conduct yourself. The Bible said David learned to conduct himself wisely. And the king appointed them daily provision of the king's meat and of the wine which he drank. So nourishing them three years. This is where, this is all in the king's mind. Wait a second, man. I gave you my house, my food, my drink, and you're going to tell me off in front of all these people when I'm on my phone? Now, among these that were taken out of the children of, out, of, out of Israel. We know the three Hebrew boys who we talking about, but there was also Daniel. Now, just so you know, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was not their names. That was their slave names. Their real names were Mishael, Azariah, and Hananiah. Now the name Daniel means my judge is God. Hananiah means the Lord shows grace or favor. Michelle means who is 
what, it, what God is. And Azariah means the Lord helps. You don't let nobody change your birthright. Don't let anyone discredit you from the education you worked long and hard and prayed and tarried for. Especially when God opened up the door through prayer to allow you to get it. Whatever you do, wherever you go, do it unto God. Do it unto God. There are people who will either try to manipulate what you know out of you or discredit the very education you got. This comes out of raw hatred and loathing and you can see it. Envy and jealousy. There are some things that are self-evident and it's amazing to me how they were nowhere around during the late nights, the praying, the studying, the exams, the problem solving, but now that you got what you got, they want to question you on the validity of your degree. It's amazing. It's a, Lord, I'm going to say it. It's amazing how people hate black people so much, but you spend half your time on the beach trying to... My God, amazing, amazing. You gonna hate people, you gonna hate me, but the first person you try to get with is my woman? Aha, uh -huh. I see it. Pastor, I'll leave that for you for another day. You deal with some crazy nonsense. Some crazy nonsense. I know, brother, I know. And some things you gotta be careful how it comes across. Because yes. people come at you raw. Yes. The Bible says it's a shame to even mention what they do in darkness. Oh. Uh. Well, be careful because they're trying to manipulate things out of you. Yes. Oh, so it's amazing how they're coming in your face. Now understand, no man is crowned except he strive lawfully. If you're going to go for something and God give you grace, make sure it's the will of God first, and then you got to do your part. You can have all the faith in the world, but you have to study. you got to put the time in. Okay? And faith without works is dead. Okay? No man is crowned except you strive lawfully. So be careful now. Once you have what you got, and God has blessed you with it. All right? Because God says, my people yes. perish for the lack of knowledge. Yes. That's why the churches support going to college. Yes. So that no one can hoodwink you and put something over on you. You can see right through it. You know what's more dangerous than an than a ignorant black man? is an educated black man. I know exactly what I'm talking about. They don't even know how to approach you. They stammer over their lips. My God. All because of hatred and all because of that fire they're trying to spew on you. But God will give you faith to overcome. You be careful when people come to you and say, oh, can you help me out with this problem? I can help you. I can show you how to solve it for yourself. But don't be coming in here wasting half hour, 45 minutes, two hours of my time to write up your report. See? See how the Bible goes to every practical area of our life? even to them project files you got on the job? You don't think people try to manipulate the people of God? Because God gave them with favor and blessed them with wisdom and they have a godly wisdom to get stuff done and people are looking at you funny? That you got all this done? See, they think carnally. They didn't know you sit there praying, Lord, give me grace, God. 
Lord, let me write it right. Lord, let me put it in order, Lord. Lord, help me, Lord. Lord, help me. And you pray praying to yourself. Lord, help me do this equation right because people's lives depend upon it. They don't see all that. They just see an upper to black guy. Yeah, I said it. I said it loud and proud. Because they come in real bold with that mess. Now, don't get wrong. I ain't trying to be no black panther up in here. I'm just trying to tell you what it's all about and what I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Glory to your name, Lord God. Verse 21, then these men were bound in their coats, their holes in their hats and other garments, and were cast in the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, the furnace exceeding hot, the flame of the fire leaped out and burnt the army guys up. Therefore, and these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they fell bound down in the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king, he was astonished. Wait a second. He rose up in haste and spake and said, hey, y'all, wait a second. Didn't we cast three men bound in the midst of the fire? You know, you know all them, them you know. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, you did, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes right, sir. Yes, 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 yes you did, dog. Can't even think for themselves. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. I told you before they bobbleheads. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can't even think for yourself. It's amazing how people allow themselves to be fooled. Allow themselves to be fooled. Did we throw three people in there? Yes, King. Yo, yes, King. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Then how come I see four people up in there? They loose and they walking around like they on the beach. They ain't got no hurt. And wait a sec. Oh, wait a second. Wait. That's Shadrach. Me, Shad, Abednego, but that one looked like, my God, that fourth one like a son of God. Yeah. This is Pastor Watkins from Community Revival Outreach Ministries. I trust that you enjoyed that wonderful service we just uh, had, and I trust the Lord that it touched your heart and your spirit, and it also inspired your soul. But beyond just listening to a message, we also ask you to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. And how you do that, you just simply ask and bow before Christ. And if you're willing to lay hands upon your TV or bow your heads right where you are or sitting, if you just bow your head with me and we'll pray the prayer of faith. Heavenly Father, we truly thank you for all things in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That you forgive us of all our sins and have mercy upon our soul. And that not only you save us, O oh Lord, from our sins, but, O oh Lord, that you would sanctify our hearts and sanctify our souls as well as, O oh Lord, baptize us with the Holy Ghost and that with fire. We accept you, O oh Lord, into our hearts and our life. We confess our sins and we believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that God raised him from the dead. And by believing and accepting this, O oh Lord, we claim to be saved in his holy name. We give thanks and praise for all things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I trust the Lord that your heart is fixed with the Lord and that your blessing will be assured and that you'll come out and fellowship with us. And if not with us, your, your own local church in your area and that God will be a blessing to you until we see you again. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.